Welcome to iWire's Super Wiring Harness Installation video. Here are the basic steps of how to install your wiring harness after we have completed your merge. Your first step is to lay out the harness as seen in the pictures we post on our Facebook page and the pictures you are emailed after your merge is complete. You want to get your harness laid out so you can see what's up before installation begins. This video is using a 2000 RS to 2003 WX swap to demonstrate how to install your harness on 98 to 01 in Prezas and Foresters, as well as 02 to 05 WX. The specifics will change slightly, but the overall installation process is the same. The next step is to come in from the passenger side of the car. You will lay in the harness and place it in the general spots it will go. You will want to start on the passenger side first because ECU placement is the most important part of installing the harness. Everything flows from that. Start inserting the engine bay plugs through the center grommet. Things like the wiper and brake master cylinder will go through here. Then you will put the other engine plugs in the side with the cut grommet through the firewall. Line up the white plastic box so they're aligned with the two studs coming out of the firewall. Secure the ECU in the passenger footwell using the thicker washer type nut on the top of the ECU. Put a little piece of corrugated plastic where the corner of the ECU is so it doesn't wear on the harness. Now you will push the white box onto the studs coming from the firewall. Next, put the rubber grommet in place on the cup firewall grommet to protect the harness. Make sure the grommet faces up toward the firewall. It originally faced down, but there isn't enough room in the engine bay, so have it face up. Tidy up the grommets from the engine side of the firewall. Just pull on it to get the grooves to lock in the firewall. You can lay the harness over to the side to keep it out of your way for now. Use a piece of corrugated plastic to help keep things in place, making sure to leave the transmission and Ruro 2 plugs outside the covering. Route your harness across the AC dryer and brake bias. Connect the wiper plug. The AC dryer plug and the ABS plug on the bottom of the strut tower. Just bite it in there because it's a bit tight. Next, plug in your cruise control plug. Now go ahead and zip tie the two main pieces of harness together so it stays tucked away from the turbo. Connect the math plug into the mass airflow sensor.
Next, connect the boost controller plug. Your front O2 sensor. Connect your main engine plug or cam crank knock plug. And your EGT plug. If you need to replace any of these connectors, feel free to give us a call. Zip tie your transmission plugs to the grommet so they stay in place. Depending on your transmission, you'll either have two plugs or it could be a four pin gray plug. Just connect whichever is given to you with the iWire harness. The rear O2 plug will go to the transmission along the driver's side of the transmission toward the rear O2. If your transmission did not come with an extension harness, you can purchase a rear O2 replacement sub-harness from iWire. Plug in your starter connector. There will be a little tab on the back of the starter for it to plug into. Then plug in your ABS and brake master cylinder plugs. Finally, you want to attach your grounds. Depending on the car, there may be only one ground on this side. Either way, make sure your grounds are tight. This is very important. If you can, sand the area first for better contact for the ground. Thanks for watching our Engine Bay video. Stay tuned for part two where we show you how to install the bulkhead side of the harness.